Taking a look at some of our Alaska news for Friday, August 4th, 2017. After falling to historic lows back in 2014 to 2015, there were zero deaths in the commercial fishing industry in Alaska. This year, it's already up to 10. Once again, fishing deaths are on the rise across the state. New research offering a window into Alaska's high rate of gun deaths. I say high, looking at the per capita numbers in terms of saying that per 100,000 deaths. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the fact that Alaska is a sparsely populated state and already generally has a very high rate of suicide. And most people who are committing suicide are doing so with a gun. And that is the main correlation that they can make with it. A urban farm could end up filling a vacant lot in downtown Anchorage. One of the council members in Anchorage is proposing taking it this area that had been used for a mental health facility years ago and turning it into a farm, hoping to, of course, help provide for some of the food shortage that we have across the entire state. And they're saying that they could sell the food to local restaurants and also at the farmer's markets. A boom on Wall Street has brought big returns for Alaska's permanent fund. It grew almost a billion dollars just in the last week or so. It's currently at $60.8 billion. That's a big permanent fund, and the whole point of it, obviously, is that this uh, the, the, money, the money itself, which came originally from the sale of oil rights and whatnot, has now been put, generally speaking, in investments. In this case, a lot of it has to do with public bonds that the permanent fund has bought into, and the growth has exploded. Walker Malat, this unlikely team of a... Republican turned independent and a Democrat turned independent. They have now announced that they will be seeking re-election next year. Up until this point, the governor has been kind of non-committal, but Lieutenant Governor Malat did go on the radio this week and say that, yes, in fact, they are going to be running for re-election and they're going to be doing it together. The long-awaited Fairbanks North Star Borough Recycling Facility is going to be opening on September 1st. They are determined to do recycling here locally even though it is not economic to do so. Hillcore is going to be taking their oil across the inlet on a pipeline instead of on barges, starting possibly as early as 2018, depending on how quickly they can get the pipeline built. And the lieutenant governor defended the use of some Juno access funds for a rural school. This is money that had been set aside for the Juno access project to build a road closer to Juneau, which then you'd only have to take a ferry for the last little bit. And that's when that money got used for a new school at Kivalina. And uh, the Lieutenant Governor defended that, but said that they promised to use the rest of the Juneau access money for the Juneau area. They promise. The fact that we used it before for something else. No, now this time we promise we're going to use it just for that area. More news we don't have time for. If you'd like to get a more detailed look, become a subscriber at RadioFreeSpeech.com and you'll get 30 to 40 minutes delivered directly to your inbox by audio form.